spring is here and with the new season comes new routines from outdoor activities to food and fashion. It seems that snacking has become a national pastime this year. I am so definitely true. guilty of all of that. Registered Same. dietitian and best-selling author Don Jackson Blattner is with us today to share some easy and nutritious tips for better springtime snacking. Hey, Don. Hey, Don. Hey, I'm excited to talk to you about snacking. I'm with you on that. <laughs> now, of course, we've all been grazing a lot. I'm myself a lot this past year. Um, we just tend to grab, you know, what's ever available and what's ever convenient. Uh, what do you recommend for spring cleaning when it comes to our snack routine? Okay, here is the best tip. It's simple snack prep. So the first step, cut up your fruits and veggies and put them in clear, beautiful containers. So when you open the fridge, you see them. And I love the idea of making a bunch of little snack boxes where you could put veggies and cheese and nuts because I have a rule of thumb when it comes to snacking. Always have a protein and a fiber. And that's why nuts are ideal. And one of my favorite nuts, pecans. Um, and a lot of times I say pecans and people think of holidays, which is true. But now the snacking really is how people are enjoying pecans the most, okay? Uh, one ounce serving is three grams of plant-based protein, three grams of fiber, and the best way to store them is in your fridge and not your pantry to maintain their freshness. Oh, okay, Interesting. I love that. I never knew that, yeah. What are your favorite snack ideas? Ooh, can I tell you about pecan butter? It is so fun to make your own pecan butter, and especially this month because April is National Pecan Month. So all you do is you take pecan pieces in a skillet, toast them up, and then put them in a blender with a little bit of salt and cinnamon, and it makes this creamy pecan butter that I gotta tell you is perfect for a snack board. Snack boards are all the rage right now. You put pecan butter on a beautiful cutting board with a pecan halves, and then the classics like uh, cheese and olives and whole grain crackers. And because it's spring, you put some spring produce on there, like radishes and carrots and pea pods, uh, strawberries. Uh, and then I make a pecan pesto. And you put it on the board, and it looks just, you saw it, so beautiful that you really want to snack on it. Yeah, absolutely. All of that spread <laughs> that you have right there looks so delicious. My stomach is rumbling. Yep, uh, for our viewers, where can they go to find more information? Oh, so for all of these recipes and a very fun pecan cookie dough bite recipe that has chickpeas in there, you can find all of it at AmericanPecan.com. Yum, I love the idea Yum. of the pecan butter. I'm not a fan, a huge fan of pecans, but I think I can get down with the pecan butter. Yeah, I, think I totally I can do that. could. I, can I know. To that. Yes, I'm in. I am all in. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Dawn. <laughs> Do you like pecans? You pecan oh, I'm fan? totally. But you know, she, she when she said that you associate them mostly with holidays, she's right. Because yeah. I think of pecans and I think of a pie, and then I'm ready to eat pie, right? right. So this is a, a way to rethink, maybe a swap, like she said, for some snack ideas. Yeah. I love it. I can get down with it. 